Hello class, this is section 7.5 and in this video we are going to discuss the orthogonality of the Helmholtz eigenfunctions. So we have here a Helmholtz equation with the boundary conditions. So again, um, for any x, y in the boundary, beta 1 f plus beta 2 greater of f is equal to 0, which I forgot about. And because of these boundary conditions, as we discussed in the previous video, this implies that the Laplacian is going to be self-adjoint. So let's consider two eigenvalues, lambda 1 and lambda 2, that are different, and with uh, corresponding eigenfunctions f1 and f2. So we have these eigenvalues with these eigenfunctions. So let's write down the Helmholtz equation for both of these eigenvalues. So for the first eigenvalue, we just have um, Laplacian of f1 plus lambda of f1 equals 0. And for the second eigenvalue, we just have the Laplacian of f2 plus lambda 2 of f2 equals 0. So let's use the self adjointness And because we have the boundary conditions, we know that the Laplacian is self adjoint And self adjoint um, refers to the product that includes the double integral over the region. So we know that f1 Laplacian of f2 minus f2 Laplacian of f1 is equal to 0. And since we have the first equation, by the first equation we can rewrite the Laplacian of f2 a little differently. So we know the Laplacian of f2 is equal to minus lambda 2 f2. And we know that the Laplacian of f1 is equal to minus 1, minus lambda 1 f1. And of course, this is also going to be equal to 0. And remember that f1 and f2 are functions of x and y, and lambda 1 and lambda 2 are constants. So maybe you should write that down a bit more carefully. So we have now lambda 1 minus lambda 2 f1 xy times f2 xy dx dy equals to zero when we do that, because um, both terms have a f1 and an f2 in them, so we can factor out f1, f2 in this way. But again, um, lambda 1 and lambda 2 are constants, which means you can just pull it out of the integral. Lambda 1 minus lambda 2 of the double integral of f1, xy, of f2, xy, dx, dy equals to zero. But since lambda 1 is not equal to lambda 2, lambda 1 minus lambda 2 is non-zero, which implies that the integral is zero. Or, in other words, that eigenfunctions corresponding to different eigenvalues are going to be orthogon orthogonal.